Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the sixth episode of the Green Manalishi, level 12 Centaur Hunter of Okavao, and our current hero in uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Well, uh, the last episode was ended rather spontaneously when I got a phone call, so let us see where we stopped. Uh, the green manalishi was currently busy scouting the fourth level of the lair where he just found the entrance to... Ah, yeah, here it was. The entrance... Oh, crap. Um, the entrance... To the to, to to the spider nest, yeah, that was that's what it was. So that's what we were busy with, and it seems that we were right in the middle of a fight. Just killed a Goliath beetle. Wait, what what am I doing here? Uh, I do not want to attack anybody with what 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 ah help ah crap. So here we go. Uh, what we might do is we might eat this guy. Sacrifice that guy and continue to clear this area with our new crappy artifact bow. Ah, oh, yeah, in the last episode, I remember it again. We found uh, we got a couple, a couple of uh, unique artifacts, which uh, sadly are uh, utter crap all by themselves. The bow minus one and. Uh, the centaur barding which decreases our strength. Both totally crappy artifacts, but well, I think the the centaur barding is at least better than no centaur barding, so I should better not complain. And uh, well, at least we've got 13 points of protection value now, which is a lot more than we had earlier. And well, we can see what else, else we find here. I see a cloak up there. We did not have any cloaks so far, so this will give us another point of protection up to 14 and slowly but surely that's all looking a little better so uh, probably I was containing a little too much because I wanted some super artifacts that give us a real boost for the for big parts of the game but well also a not all so good artifact uh, can be very helpful anyway however we will of course not uh start with a uh, with a spider nest right now at first we definitely want to uh, completely clear the lair and see if we can get another couple of nice useful artifacts artifacts pieces of equipment whatever the random number generator is so kind to offer us what are we increasing at the moment, by the way? Oh, invocation already at level 7. Let's see if uh, our finesse is below 10%. And I almost think, well, we could get it up to 8. I think 8 is excellent. That uh, will help us to use uh, finesse on a, on, a, on a very reliable level. This is a crocodile. I think crocodile should not be any problem anymore. No. And we can even eat the crocodile. Well, uh, I think we're done with this level so far. So, time to get one level deeper. Let's see what we find here. This is a fire drake, if I'm not wrong. We are fire resistant, so, so that should not be uh, the biggest of problems. Yeah, easy. Um, sacrifice the body. Continue here. I think we just brought a couple of yaks with us. Oh. I would prefer to kill them one on one. Can we melee a yak? Apparently, we oh, oh fuck! Apparently, we cannot melee a yak. That was too risky. That was stupid. Okay, come on, do that from a safe distance. Oh, and a spine frog. I already forgot. Oh, <laughs> and a komodo dragon. Why? Not all of you at once, please. I'm not sure what that symbol means when we hit the enemies. Probably it's the freeze ability that... Uh, 
or does our bow have another special power that we cannot yet see? Should we try to read a scroll of identify? I'll try that, but we cannot use it on our bow, sadly. However, I'll identify this scroll so we know what it does. It is a scroll of silence. Well, too bad our bow does not have a hidden special power. <coughs> anyway, I'm glad that we were able to kill these enemies because that uh, was a rather dangerous situation in which I brought us without any need. I should rather try to avoid such stuff in the future. Have we forgotten to pick up anything? Yes, him so. So, continue. Down to the next level. We are greeted by a black mamba. I think black mambas are quite poisonous, or oh, we should kill it quickly. Okay, yeah, we are poisoned by the black mamba, so so wait a couple of turns till the poison is gone, and then continue. Well, it seems that layer level five is gonna be quite a challenge again. Oh, I'll lure the spine frog up and try to carefully kill him from a distance. I think really that we are freezing these enemies. Oh man, but we just don't hit him. Come on, hit the frog. He deserves it. He is an evil frog. A frog of dark forces. Oh. At least we got rid of the frog. We have serious trouble hitting this iguana. Now we got him. Pick up all the arrows. Oh, there is another spine frog, I think. Oh no, it's a spine frog corpse. Let's sacrifice it. Quite sure. Uh, there was some way to see if we still get piety from these enemies. I'm not sure how that worked. However, we should definitely... well, let's do that later. First, continue here, Wand of Lightning. And we're starving. Now we definitely have to eat a slice of pizza. Black Mamba. We don't hit it from a distance, we have to... Ah, the black mamba is a really, really quick. <coughs> Once again, we're very hungry. I hope somebody will drop coughs for us. Sooner rather than later. These yucks have very delicious corpses. Just have to kill the yuck. Oh, and another spine frog. Fuck. Ah, got him. Nice. Oh, crap, a basilisk. No, oh, hopefully it will not. Oh, it gazes at us. Not good. Kill it. Kill it. Ah. Whew, luckily that worked. And we even got a corpse from that yuck. Perfect. Now the basilisk could paralyze us, and that's extremely dangerous. Glad that didn't happen. And it was only a matter of time. Here we've got our first Hydra. How do we do against the Hydras? Oh, that looks quite easy. We can kill it from a distance, we can outrun it. Apparently the Hydra is less of a problem for this character. Lesser than the Black Mamba at least. And then the Spine Frog. This nasty, deadly, spiny frog beast. He regenerates almost quicker than we can hurt him. Kill I said kill him. Oh, we're poisoned. We get a gift. Oh, God. A morning star. Serious. Okuvaru, I am not happy with your work. A morning star. How does he get the idea that we could need a morning star? That's what he calls divine wisdom? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Oh, 
However, at least we've got a lot of piety, which we should probably use if we get into tough situations in the future. Well, I think sheeps are, sheep are. There is actually no need to use our arrows against sheep. Well, probably sheep are stronger than I thought. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Playing like an idiot again. I need my arrows against sheep. I play like an idiot. Oh my god. Should I stop playing right now? I don't know. this guy. And that's how many needles do we have left? Not many. So the blowgun is at the moment not very useful because we're somehow running out of needles. Hmm. Sheep corpse also already started rotting away. I like it that we've got this backup weapon. What I can say for sure is that I've got more problems with uh, with the vault than I had with my first test character, and it's definitely a matter of equipment. Also, what uh, the green manalishi so far completely lacks is uh, spells. With my other character, I found lots of spell books with lots of useful utility spells. Well, therefore, we have got a nice supply of scrolls, which could help us out of dangerous situations. <coughs> but I also don't get why we do get so little ammunition from Okuvaru. Oh man, I said I wanted to stop complaining, so I... Stop me if I do it again, please. I think I'll try to do a little more in Malay, so a single green red should ho oh, okay, hopefully not be a problem. A single spine frog should be one. I'm wondering against these rather tough enemies if I should probably. Yucks. Yucks. If I should make a little more use of uh, the special abilities. What about heroism? What exactly does it do? Is there any way to find out? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll try to get a description of heroism here. Temporary increases all your combat skills, including the ability to, to sneak around. Combat skill improvement, that's definitely nice. Makes us a little hungry and Costs a little piety. What about finesse? Greatly increases your combat speed with no loss of accuracy. This unnatural effect causes small amounts of magic contamination, prolonged exposure to which may be bad for your health. I see. I think I'll try to make a little more use of it. Uh, so, heroism, for now, increases our bow skill to 22. Okay, that should help us against this. We are not very... 
Oh, we were slowed by that snake. I get it. That's why we could not outrun the, the yucks. Apart from that, we do some nice damage with heroism on. Uh, heroism is not online anymore. So kill that snake, snail. Okay, we need something to eat and something to sacrifice to get back the piety which we lost from the uh, from using heroism. But I think I should use that a little more frequently. It should definitely give us a nice bonus to our fighting skills. Oh, what? That's not good. Single green rat. Ah, you know what? Fuck you, mouse. Sadly, we cannot eat these guys. The corpse is rotted away before we could uh, just a moment before we uh, got hungry. Here is a spell book finally. It is a metal bound, uh, once again, a high level spell book that we very likely cannot read. No, we cannot. So we can as well drop it. I'm not interested in high level spell books. We want easy spells, easy util utility spells allow us to blink away in a da dangerous situation or something like that. Ah, this is probably the red level. However, we did not find anything very nice down here. Oh, invocation 9.5 now. Well, then I could as well do it until we reach level 10. Or... No, that's a waste. It's already good enough. So, get it away. We need to get both to level 20 as quickly as we can. Probably we should not have put invocation that high. Wait for this guy. Melee. And we can eat him. Good. Whoa! Mermaid chants a hunting song. We are mesmerized. Cannot teleport anymore. What does that do? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't think it's good. Mesmerized. Well, I don't know. Can we run away? Fuck. Dangerous. 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 Here are the shoals. Oh, that's the reason. Okay, we get out of range. That's good at least. We can outrun him. He throws tomahawks. Well, from a distance we should be better than you. Fuck. And mesmerized again. That means we cannot... Ah, that was it. That uh, limits our uh, range of motion. We have to get close to, to the mermaid. Let's kill it from a distance. Come on, kill it. We cannot get further away. Kill the mermaid, come on. Where? Edda poisons us, fuck, and both are in melee range. Can we blink away? I don't like this situation. Can we cure? I think we should have lots of possibilities to get out of this situation, but which do we use? Silence! Ha! Excellent! The mermaid wants to sing. We don't allow her to sing. Anyway, we have to kill the Edda first. This guy's down. Any mermaid left? I can't see any right now. Well, I think silence was a good idea at this, at this moment. 
Do we want this trident? Uh, no, I don't think we want a trident. Uh, take good care, take good care. Uh, sacrifice, uh, slaughter this guy. Rune trident, Ramekovs. They drop some nice magical items that we cannot use because it's all the wrong kinds of items. Have we killed all the mermaids now? I think so. Here's the entrance to the shawls, which will very likely be our first uh, branch that we uh, clear as soon as we're ready for clearing branches. Mm. Is there any narrow corridor we can reach? Here. That looks not bad. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, that looks fine. We can quite reliably deal with these green rats by now. What do we have here? The slime pits. Oh, the slime pits. I still remember the slime pits. You remember them too? From... Oh, shit. Black Mamba. <coughs> we lost a very promising character to the slime pits not long ago. We find a lot of scrolls and potions and stuff like that. And actually, we're still lacking equipment. Oh fuck, I shoot an arrow at the at the plant that was not intended. And I got myself poisoned by the spine frog. I'm proving that I'm not playing very well tonight. But uh, what can we do? We have to progress, otherwise we will never progress. Crocodile. Let's see how we do against the crocodile. Not bad. Yellow wasp? Is a yellow wasp stronger than a killer bee? No, it looks easy. So that should hopefully not be a problem. It slows us when it stings us. For an easy enemy, this guy is quite tough. Good, now he's down. Oh, and here we've got another centaur barding, and I'm quite sure this one is probably better than the one we are currently wearing, because it uh, does not decrease our strength. Yeah, indeed. It's just an ordinary centaur barding, which is better than our artifact centaur barding, which is a little frustrating. Check out this wand. Wand of digging. Good to have. Poison needles. Did not find any poison needles in quite a while. Come on, shoot the yaks. I'm glad that we did not encounter any death yaks so far. We've got enough problems with the ordinary yaks. like an interesting room with a couple of of uh, fountains. Oh, and another basilisk. 
Did we kill it? Hope so. And we get another gift. Something useful this time. Four poisoned arrows. Well, four is actually quite the opposite of a lot, but it is some poisoned arrows. I think it's a nice thing that our god gave it to us. It is better than probably a, a morning star or what it was that he gave us last last time. So uh, anyway, we're done with this level. I think we could probably do one more level in this episode, which is the second but last level of the lair. Once again, a spine frog. Spine frog, you make me angry. You get heroism pierced with a level 23 arrows. Just punch our way through that mushroom. Dispersal arrows. I hope we will find more arrows. We need more ammunition. At one point we will run out of ammunition and then we will be in big, big trouble. Otherwise... Good. This guy's down. Oh man, armies of rats, legions. Yeah, that's probably a good position to fight them. Good. That's wolves? Yes, it is wolves. I think a whole pack of wolves should not be taken easy. They are... S damn, they are quick. And they're doing some damage. I think i chop one of their dead bodies and sacrifice the other. Uh, pick up that. We cannot carry any more items. Is there anything we can drop? I'm afraid, I have to say it, but we can definitely drop our crappy centaur barding. Um, of course, these rotten and pieces of uh, of our flesh. And we've got some scrolls that we don't yet know, but we'll find out what they do. Sheep. Well, the last time I said sheep are easy, they bet the crap out of us. And this time they were easy indeed. Um, I'm gonna try out these scrolls. Scroll of brand weapon. You aren't carrying any weapon that can be branded. Fuck. This was a scroll of holy word. <sighs> man, man, man. I think we should definitely use heroism against spine frogs, otherwise it takes too much time and probably also too much ammunition to kill them. Elephant. Okay. Heroism. And another one. Oh, there's a whole horde of elephants. We get a holy gift. I think this is a situation where we could also make use of finesse. 
so we can shoot a lot quicker. God, we did it. What was the uh, the gift? I think it was arrows of dispersal, which are probably the most useless of the arrows. <sighs> Boring beetle. I think they do a lot of damage, but uh, they are very, very slow. With heroism and finesse. These guys. No, okay, only with finesse. Anyway, they should not be a problem. But I'm not gonna melee this elephant. He regenerates almost quicker than we could hurt him. We've almost reached level 20 in bows. Probably we can still do that in this episode. But at first, there is a spine frog to be killed. Oh, nice swords and everything, just not the, th the stuff that we actually needed. Oh, elephants and yaks, both at once. I think this is uh, another time to use finesse. This is an artifact rope, which we might as well check out soon. Oh, fuck. It was risky and even more elephants. Go away! Keep your trunks out of my face. Finesse. Heroism. Fight. Oh man! <laughs> Will this never end? We're running out of arrows. Getting a gift, which is arrows. Thank you. Three, four, five. Um, now we're using flaming arrows. Okay, let's do that. Why not? Arrows of dispersal. We get only arrows of dispersal. Nobody needs arrows of dispersal. I want flaming arrows, I want frost arrows, and not those crappy dispersal arrows. And not even more elephants. Armies of elephants. After the, the last level, we've now entered the level of elephants, as it seems. But at least, that gave us a lot of experience. Brought us close to uh, the maximum Ha! Bows level 20. That's what we wanted. I think next we could, um, well, we could probably get a little more focus on unarmed fighting. I think bows 20 is okay for the moment. Unarmed fighting and fighting. Unarmed combat and fighting. We definitely need a couple more hit points to feel a little safer. So what kind of a rope is this? Let's give it a try. The moment we are wearing a ring mail plus one, this is a rope that gives strength plus one and resists electricity. I think we will keep that for the resist electricity. But while we do not fight any elect electric enemies, we rather wear the, uh, the, the armor with a higher armor value. Close of recharging, that's cool. Needles are sleeping, not bad either. Great sword, totally useless. This guy is luckily far away. Ah, oh, this time we insta killed him. Nice. Yeah, but now we should be really quick with our 
bow attacks. Oh. We've got re we've reached the maximum delay. Uh, the minimum delay. Don't need any bolts. Sacrifice the spine frog. Come on. Are we done with this level? I think we are done. That was the one we dropped, wasn't it? Yes. So, let's go. What happened? You're feeling very hungry? Okay, I can stop that right now. We have reached the final level of the lair, but this is what we're going to do in the next episode. Until then, I think we can be quite happy that we are still alive. Did we find anything nice this time? Well, nothing particularly, but we uh, have got a whole backpack full of utility items and uh, this is actually not where I want to stop the episode because there's one more thing I'd like to do, which I almost forgot. I'd like to drop a lot of stuff in our uh, stash on layer 2. That means we have to kill another yak on the way and it's yucky friends, which are just going on our nerves. Shoot, 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 shoot. Good. Yaks are down. Um, chop one. Sacrifice the other. Eat the chopped one. And go back up. Here we are. Let's see what we want to drop. Whew, finally. I think I'll drop three more remove curse, curse scrolls. Both scrolls of recharging. I'll drop two scrolls of teleportation and I'll drop probably three scrolls of identify as well as the scroll of enchant armor. And I, 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 I will use the scrolls of enchant armor. Yes, I'll not drop that, but I'll drop the scroll of amnesia. I'll pick up our other scrolls of enchant armor and I will make our Centaur barding, a really good centaur barding, if we don't get a good one anyway. So, enchant once, enchant twice, enchant thrice. Now we've got a centaur barding plus three, and that already looks a whole lot better. Well, jewelry, have we got anything to drop there? Nope, we didn't find anything new. What about food? I think we can drop the fruits and the royal jellies. We keep the bread rations and the meat rations. Wands. I'm sure we've got a couple of wands that we don't need. We keep cold. We drop confusion. We keep hasting. We drop frost. We drop lightning. We drop slowing. Keep or disintegration and digging, drop paralysis, and keep fire. Eat the yak flesh. What about potions? I think I drop one of the potions of cancellation. Um, I drop the potion of brilliance, and that's it. Have we got anything else we want to drop? Mm, arrows, arrows of dispersal, needles of sleeping, poisoned needles, poisoned arrows, arrows of frost, needles of paralysis, and uh, I think those needle stacks are, well, I might as well keep them for the moment. Probably they will help us at one point. Apart from that, I think now we can be happy and satisfied with this episode and call it to a close. So, I'd like to say once again, thanks to all of you for support, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode where we will scout the bottom level of the lair. Until then, bye everybody.